today, this episode. We'll start off by, of course, going to the graphics department. Today, we're starting down here in Wellington, in the North Island, we're going all the way up to Rotorua, and just along the way, so just kind of what you see. This is mostly pictures, because it was mostly traveling. And this is uh, where the North Island actually divulges quite a lot from the South Island. The thing about it is, is that the North Island is smaller than the South Island, but it has the majority of the population. For, uh, for things is that there's like about 4 million people who live on New Zealand-ish, and uh, two thirds of them are on the North Island, which is smaller than the South Island. That's why the South Island is a lot more spacious, spread out. That's where they have a lot of the big parks, the amazing things you can see there. The North Island is a lot more industrialized, as you see, a lot more rolling hills. It's not as rugged or, uh, 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 I guess, like sharp, or however you want to say, with the big jagged peaks and the, the whole uh, fjord stuff. And it's also a lot milder, of course, because, you know, kind of uh, not as far south, which, being on the flip side, it doesn't get as cold in the winter. So, more people tend to live here. In fact, uh, Wellington might be the capital city, but Auckland, which you know, I'll get to, is actually their largest city and has their actually major airport, their major international airport. But you can see through just kind of going through and you kind of see how this, the whole area was used as Lord of the Rings because it changes so much as through it. There were places in the South Island and now there are places in the North Island which were used for Lord of the Rings. And this is where we, uh, uh, I got to see some of the indigenous people, or, you know, they're not really, I mean, the, well, the descendants of the indigenous people, because nobody lives like the indigenous people did anyway, because uh, the indigenous, indigenous people used to be cannibals. That's pretty much been snuffed out. But you can enjoy some of the things that we saw when we, we saw them, and some of their dances or whatnot, and I hope people enjoy because I remember a whole lot about this and it was very interesting and a worthwhile visit.
just for the scenery and just for the fun. Yummy!